Hello my darlings! I hope you're doing very very well, actually exquisite. Welcome back to my channel. Actually, let me put the lamp properly. Yeah, I think that's better, eh? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome my darling. Please don't forget to subscribe and of course follow me on Instagram. Alright guys, so today I actually have quite an unusual haul because I have both super cool new releases and I have some super sentimental fragrances for myself. I really really wanted to have them back in my collection even though you know how many fragrances I have but they were just calling my name, I had to have them so yeah. I don't know what to start with, the new ones, the new releases or the sentimental ones which have been around forever. Maybe I'm actually gonna start with something very unusual and I actually got this in the mail recently and it looks like this and this is called More is More by Judith Lieber or Lieber. Eau de Parfum for her. And when you see the bottle, you're gonna be like, what is this? Look, it looks like a shotgun or something. I don't know, but it has diamonds on it, so it's definitely not a weapon. I love it, it's, it's just so cool, and it's gold, so you cannot really go wrong with gold. But, uh, it's not only about the bottle, because the concept is super cool. So basically, in this bottle, you have three different fragrances. You have gourmand, you have a zesty citrus, and you have a floral. So when it comes to the gourmand, the notes are uh, blackcurrant absolute and mandarin oil, gingerbread accord and rose oil, and in the dry down you have cashmere wood and vanilla. So that's the gourmand. Then with the zesty one, you have bergamot and grapefruit, sandalwood, cedar, orris and peony. So that's the zesty citrusy one. And then you have the floral fragrance, which is again mandarin oil, but then you have pink pepper, patchouli, coconut wood, orchid and ylang ylang. So the Nox structures are so nice. And what you do with it basically, uh, do you remember those old school pens that you could click and the other color will come out and they had like multiple colors? It's kind of this concept. So basically you uh, put the right fragrance that you want and it sprays from here. And the nozzle is right here. So it sprays like this. I actually have a zesty one now. And it's so refreshing, super cool. So basically what you can do is use only one, so either floral or gourmand or zesty, but you can also mix them all together or just two, all three, whatever you want. So this is super cool. I think this is gonna be a great solution for traveling. When you are traveling for vacation or uh, when you wanna pack a little bit more lightly, this is perfect to take because you have so many options because you have three separate fragrances but then you can mix it different ways so you have like 16 different fragrances basically in here very very interesting concept i really like it i must say uh, all of these fragrances are quite long lasting as well because i've been testing them out and uh, they really do last on my skin so that's very nice and thank you so much to judith Liva for this nice gift and I really like the concept, I really really do. Uh, also you can lock it in, so basically when you're traveling you can just lock it and you're good. So yeah, that's that and look how cute it is. It has like those rhinestones on it, love it, really really nice concept. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want to show you, okay let's go with the new releases, is my jam. My jam. If you don't know already, I am a big, big, big fan of Aqua Allegoria's range by Guerlain. However, we all know the lasting power is not the best, that's why I kind of steer away from them. I do have a couple, but that's kind of enough. But I couldn't resist, because they have recently released Netare di Sole. And if you don't know what I mean, 
it means the nectar of the sun. So how could I not get it? It is honey, honey in here. And if there is honey in the fragrance, it's, I'm dead. I just have to have it, especially if it's Aqua Allegoria, because they have those beautiful, fresh, but very unique and very realistic smelling fragrances, mainly florals and citruses. So this is another take because um, when it comes to the heavier fragrances with heavier notes in Aqua Allegoria, I remember there was Le Soleil, which was like heavier, a little bit tuberosey, if I remember correctly, like very, very dense. And this one is a little bit in that alley, you know? It's a little bit in that vibe. I've been wearing it already. I'm lying taking it out of the box because, you know, I've been testing it, right? But I wanted to show you. Oh. So it starts off quite green and fresh, you know, like this typical Aqua Allegoria. But then you are getting into that beautiful honey. And when that honey hits, I'm dead. I'm just dead. So yeah, uh, Netara di Sole is absolutely fantastic. I'm just trying to see if there is any note structure on the box because I haven't um, remembered the note structure. But basically it's like white, floor, white flowers, honey and some aquatic notes. So yeah, it is quite fresh even though it's honey based, but you still get that beautiful sweetness of honey. It's just like, you would drip honey into tea, but like cold tea. No, you know what? I know what that is. That's gonna give you the best picture of Netara di Sole. This is lemonade, cold ass lemonade, with a lot of lemon in it, like hanging around, maybe some mint even, uh, and a lot of honey in it. This is what it is. And some sparkling water instead of the normal one. That's what Netare di Sole is. It's absolutely beautiful, refreshing. I think this is gonna be my second favorite to Tesura, which is like my ultimate favorite. But Netare di Sole, I think it is a very, very close, close companion of it. Um, I only got 75 mil because first of all, you know how many frags I have. So, you know, it would be a waste, but also, it's still very expensive online, so I decided that 75ml is more than enough, like, come on, biggest bottle of Delina comes in a 75ml and we're not complaining, right? But yeah, uh, since it is a eau de toilette, you definitely have to overspray it to, you know, have it on the whole day. Uh, but I would say the longevity is moderate, it's definitely better than some other Aqua Allegorias. So, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. It really kind of stays put for what it is. So, I love it. I love it. If you are to get, like, one freshie for summer and you like honey, yeah, you have to get this one because this is just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I wouldn't say it's unisex. It's definitely feminine leaning, in my opinion. Unless a guy mixes it with something, then yeah, sure, maybe some musk or something. It's just gorgeous though. It's just so gorgeous and I love the bottles. Yeah, uh, I am a sucker for Aqua Allegorias, I'll be honest with you. There is nothing I can do, even if they don't last too much. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Yeah, it's just like a cold ass lemonade with a lot of citruses, but sweet citruses, like, you know, very, very ripe citruses. And that honey. Beautiful, just beautiful. So that was Aqua Allegoria Netare di Sole. I am still gonna get a few, to be honest. <laughs> Naughty me. I promised myself I wouldn't, but I just have to. I have to get Orange Solea. I have to get uh, Granada Salvia. I also really, really want to get uh, Pamplelune again because that was like my other favorite, which is like super strong sour grapefruit. Amazing. But this one, if you want something new, get this one. It's so nice. All right. Next, also a new release. I was very much excited about this. It's, it finally appeared online, so I grabbed it as soon as I could. And that is Giorgio Armani. 
Terra di Gioia. Uh, so if you don't know what Terra means, of course my Italian friends already do, but many people mispronounce it and you are supposed to say it like it is like Terra, you know? And that's basically soil, ground, however you want to call it. So yeah, uh, they have aqua, they have sky, they have, um, what else they have? Basically any element and now they have the ground that you're walking on. So it is supposed to be like the most grounding fragrance of the all. So if you don't know, Aqua di Gioia is quite airy, Sky di Gioia is quite airy. Uh, there was Sun di Gioia, which was my absolute favorite from the whole range, unfortunately discontinued. It was very warm and solar. So this one is definitely the most grounding and I must tell you, is good. It is good. First of all, I really love the new packaging that it comes in when it comes to the Joya line because they put those beautiful stones and you know it kind of resembles of the private range of Giorgio Armani. I really love how they are putting it all together. Uh, so yeah, with Terra di Joya you definitely get a lot of sweetness and that is just absolutely fantastic. This is a sweet fragrance, but at the same time, oh my god, it's so beautiful, it's so beautiful! I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. It's just so beautiful. You get like almondy touch to it, a little bit, um, I, would, I don't want to say sour, maybe a little bit bitter. Yeah, a little bit bitter, but still very, very sweet. And some earthiness and a lot of sweetness. It also, there's also like a slight honey touch to it, you know, that sweetness that you might get from honey, it kind of is here as well. Love it, absolutely love it. And with this one, the longevity I would say is moderate, around six hours, then it's very close to the skin. So bear that in mind, but it's really, really worth it because for a fresher fragrance, this one is still very, very good in terms of lasting power. And the scent is just beautiful. Just almondy, sweet, definitely the sweetest out of all the Joya family. And the least airy and oceany, you know? Oh, they also actually have Ocean de Joya, which is like super aquatic. Yeah, this one is phenomenal, phenomenal. Uh, I must say, after the biggest bestseller, which is Aqua de Joya, which I'm gonna get to in a minute. Uh, this one is the best out of them all. So yeah, that's Terra di Gioia. One. Next. Of course I have to get it. And this is where we're starting my sentimental part of this video. So since I got the newest one, which is Terra, I had to remind myself of how Aqua smells. Because this has been my signature go-to fragrance. I would use it to work, I would take it for vacation, I would just love it. And straight out of the bat, because I've tested it already, of course, sorry, uh, I must say the longevity is not as great as it used to be in the original, in the old bottle. This one is more airy, a little bit more watered down, so I would say the lasting power is also around six hours, maybe even less. For an aquatic fragrance, it's fine in general, but I was, you know, used to something else from Armani because Aqua di Gioia would last on me the whole day until evening after work. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I admit, I'm not too happy about it. But it's in my collection. Maybe I will hunt down the old bottle. Who knows? Who knows if I will be bothered by it. But. Uh, this one is mint, sugar, very fresh, aquatic, but still sweet. Oh my gosh. Do you remember the commercial of it? The initial prior to all the new commercials that it has with the model called Emily Di Donato? This is like my favorite commercial of fragrance, really. Aqua di Gioia. Commercial is my favorite. I'm gonna insert a picture here for you. 
beautiful commercial and the fragrance smells like the advert. It just transports me immediately to a deserted island, uh, rainforesty, just beautiful. Just so calming but refreshing and invigorating. You just feel alive with this one. You just feel alive. That's what I feel like. Th these are the emotions that I get from this fragrance, which is very interesting. Oh my gosh. I just want to live. I just want to run out of the door and start running and not come back. Imagine I did that to you. <laughs> but yeah, I love Aqua di Gioia, even though the longevity is a little bit worse than it used to be. It's still a beautiful fragrance. All right, what do we have next? Another super, super, super uh, old fragrance. And you're gonna be like, what did you get? I got Chloe Eau de Parfum, the original. Of course, it's been changed like 300 times since I used to wear it as a college student, but I still love it. What can I say? I, I actually wanted to get it for a while now because I feel like I have to have it in my collection. I love the bottle, first of all. These are like one of my favorite bottles, except from the fact that the it's silver. The metal is actually silver and it tarnishes very, very quickly. So it goes black. But the fragrance I really love. It's kind of in the vibe of the newest, the Lina, you know. I'm sure you already know Chloe, right? But to me, it's kind of in the vibe of the newest Delina, La Rosé. It is slightly different, yes, but it has that particular note that no other fragrance has and you immediately know it's Chloe. And I just missed it. Oh my gosh, actually, let it be my fragrance of the video. Why not? There we go, guys. Mm, actually, <laughs> the spray refreshed me a little bit because it's so hot. Actually, I felt the cold from the spray, you know? It's so hot in here. <sighs> I love this one. Of course, again, it's not as long-lasting as it used to be, but I love it nevertheless. Uh, there is an absolute version, and I will be getting it, and I will compare this, these two for you, the original and the absolute. Uh, we will see which one stays longer on the skin, which one has better performance because you know uh, even though there might be some reviews everyone is different and maybe I will actually have a different point of view so we'll see but the original Chloe is something that I used to wear in college and before that in high school so very very sentimental very sentimental and yeah after so many years I got it again uh, I used to go through bottles and bottles of this one and it's finally with me again. You know, it's just like a nice thing to have. And this is my perfect everyday scent. When I was young, er, um, I would use it for more special occasions, but now it's gonna be like my perfect everyday fragrance. And I'm just gonna smell nice and classy. So I love Chloe. Nothing wrong about it to say. All right, are you ready for this? Last but not least for today, I have something that again I was using as a teen and that was my sexy fragrance, my mysterious fragrance. Like imagine how the scent um, and you know your nose changes throughout years. That to me now this is like the fun summer light airy fragrance and when I was young that used to be like this you know sexy, deep, mysterious one. It's funny, it's so, so funny. But uh, this one I actually would get from my dad when I was young and he would always get this one from me uh, when he would be traveling for work as a doctor and he would always bring me one from his travels or some other fragrances, but that was, that was the main one. That was the main one I would always ask for it. And for Christmas and stuff, that was the one that I would ask for. And that is Magnetism by Ascada. Believe it or not, 
I still love it. I was very hesitant. I mean, it's very cheap online, first of all. So, you know, I really wouldn't mind getting it. Because um, I think I even got it cheaper than a tester of Ariana Grande. So it really is cheap. And, you know, I was kind of hesitant because I was like, oh my gosh, will I even like it now? Will I even wear it now? And it turns out, I will. I really will. I like the bottle. Nothing against it. Yeah, the cap is plastic, but really nothing against it. And the fragrance. All my Barbie dolls would smell like this. I would. That's why I needed so much of this fragrance because I would spray my Barbie dolls. Like, imagine me as a child. I don't think I was too sane, you know? I don't think I was too down for earth. Down to earth, was I? No. <laughs> but my Barbie smelled nice. So, this one is just so nice. It's like this berry juice with some vanilla. It's a little bit caramelly. It's so sweet, but at the same time, it actually is sexy. It really is. To be honest, I think this is gonna be my new Netflix and chill kind of thing. And I think my partner Ray is gonna love it. I really think so. I mean, even though I mainly smell Barbie doll, when I smell it, you know, memories, it's still sexy. A sexy Barbie doll. Yeah, sexy Barbie doll. I love this one though. And it's actually long lasting, guys. It's not bad on lasting power. It used to be very good on lasting power. Now it's good. Because, of course, they watered it down. I would say around seven hours. So it's really decent. It's sweet, it's cute, but it's still like sexy. It really is. It's quite sensual at the same time. It's not like your girliest, girliest scent ever. No. This has something to it. Actually, now that I think of it, I might have had a decent nose when I was younger. Because it's really not bad. Not at all. I'm gonna wear it and I'm not gonna be ashamed. I love this one. So. Uh, definitely more of a summer night fragrance. That's how I would classify it. Summer night fragrance, perfect. Netflix and chill, perfect. Spring daytime, autumn daytime, perfect. Very, very nice one. So if you don't have it already and you like fruity, vanillic fragrances, just get it because it's cheap and it's lovely. That's that. I hope you enjoyed it guys. Um, yeah, it's actually quite funny how um, all those new releases got mixed with very very old fragrances. But yeah, that's life and that's how my mind works. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and of course follow me on Instagram and see you in my next video. Bye!